everybody and welcome back to the Cupcake Gemma channel with me, Sally, and we are back in Sam's kitchen today. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to mention that I actually got to see Gemma the other day and she sends her hellos and her loves. I dropped some cookies off at her doorstep on my way home from work. So I got to see her and I also got to see little baby Eden who is, she's more like this big now, <laughs> but she's so cute and she's so smiley. But they are staying at home, keeping safe because we have gone back into lockdown here in England. Now, what do we do when we go into lockdown? We bake banana bread. Last March, when this whole thing kicked off, everybody went like a little bit crazy for banana bread. There were recipes all over the internet. So I think it's finally time I share my recipe with you. And banana bread is a fab recipe, particularly if you are new to baking. It is so easy and there's not really much that can go wrong. You don't need any fancy equipment. You can just bung it all in a bowl and then bung it into the oven um, and the first thing we're going to do is get our pan ready so if you have a loaf pan fantastic you're going to use one of these but if not like a cake tin or a ceramic dish anything is going to be fine for this recipe so we're going to start by rubbing a little bit of butter all around the inside of our pan and then I have got a little bit of greaseproof paper here that we're going to put into our pan and up the side. So with this loaf pan, I'm actually just gonna do the long sides, not the short ones. But what you do wanna make sure is that you've got a little bit of over, overhang, overhang here, because <laughs> that's gonna make it easy for us to pull the banana bread out once it's baked. So we'll leave that to one side, and then the next thing we're gonna do is mix together our dry ingredients. So I'm starting with 270 grams of plain or all-purpose flour along with 200 grams of caster sugar or granulated sugar and then we've got a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and half a teaspoon of salt just get all of those in and then we'll just whisk it around just to mix it together and again that can now go to one side and we can crack on with these bananas so when you're making banana bread you really want to use old manky bananas because the riper they are, the sweeter they are, the mushy they are and the better your banana bread is going to be. Um, and a little secret, it's not really a secret, most people know this about me and I really dislike bananas so this is hard, this is really hard, this is what I used to get Gemma to do for me, she'd peel the bananas for me. Oh here we go, so I'm using three kind of small to medium sized bananas or two large will do and then we're going to mush them all up. So even though I really dislike bananas, I really love banana bread or banana cake. I even love those little banana sweetie things that you get. It's just bananas themselves, you know? I can't explain it, it's just, well, anyway, <laughs> I've mashed mine together. I've just done it with a fork, you could use a potato masher, um, and the kind of riper they are, the easier they're gonna mash, and you really want it to be super kind of sloppy like this. Try not to have too many big old lumps in there. So then we'll get on with the rest of our wet ingredients, which I'm gonna do in this bowl. And I'm gonna start with one whole egg and one egg yolk. So then we'll just break these up with a whisk. You don't need to kind of whip them or anything, just break it all up. And into that I'm going to add 60 grams of yoghurt or you can use sour cream or buttermilk, something tangy which is going to add a lovely tang to our banana bread but also the kind of thickness of it is going to really help kind of get that lovely moist banana bread as well. So 60 grams going into our eggs and whisk those together along with 110 grams of melted cooled butter. Next up, we're going to mix in our delicious <laughs> bananas. Mmm, yummy. So now we've got our bowl of wet mix and our bowl of dry mix and we just need to combine them. So I'm going to pour the wet into the dry and I'm going to mix it together but you don't want to over mix it, you just want to bring it together. And 
And that is essentially it. That is your basic banana bread recipe. But there are a few things that are going to make this even more delicious. And that, of course, is some chocolate because chocolate makes everything better. So I've got kind of an obscene amount of chocolate because I think it's delicious. <laughs> I've got in total 100 grams and I've got a mixture of milk and dark, but you know, whatever you want to do, go for it. I'm going to put most of them in, but I'm going to save back a few. And give that a little mix through and then next up I'm going to add some nuts. Um, again I've gone for a mixture, I've got 60 grams of walnuts and 20 grams of pecans but if you only want to go with one go with the walnuts because walnuts have a really lovely buttery kind of taste and texture and I'm just going to chop these up a little bit with this crazy sharp knife that I don't really want to get my fingers anywhere near. <laughs> And again, we're going to put most of these into our banana bread mixture, but saving a few back like we did with the chocolate. And again, give it a nice little stir. So that is it. We just need to get this into our tin. Oh no, this is a floor of the spoon. Now his face is full of banana cake. Sorry, little guy. Right, okay, let's fill up our tin. So just make sure you do get all of the batter into the tin. That bowl's really <laughs> heavy. And I'm just going to use my spatula to sort of even it out a little bit. And then before we put it into the oven, we're going to sprinkle it with our remaining chocolate and the nuts, which is just mainly for aesthetics. It's going to make this look really pretty. So now it is ready to bake. So I've got my oven, pre it's not my oven, it's Sam's oven, preheated to 165 degrees C, which is fan assisted. And it's gonna take around 50 minutes to one hour. It kinda depends on the shape of your tin. So I'm gonna put mine in for 50 and then check it. What you wanna do is put a skewer in the middle and if it comes out clean, it is done. If it's kinda gooey, you wanna leave it in, but as this is going in for a long time, you might find that the top of your banana bread is kind of golden and crispy and looking done, but the inside is gooey, in which case, grab yourself a bit of tin foil and you just want to pop that loosely over the top of your banana bread until it is done all the way through. Okay, done, let's go. So in total, my banana bread was baking for one hour and look how gorgeous it is. It's so kind of simple, but it's kind of rustic looking and it's got the gorgeous crack down the middle, which is a bit of a signature. Smells amazing too. Obviously it's really hot right now, so you want to let it cool for like 15 minutes and then you can take it out of the pan, continue to cool it, then you can eat it when it's a little bit warm because that's when it is best. However, if you eat this on day one, it's going to be great, it's going to taste yummy, but it's going to be quite kind of crumbly and kind of fluffy inside, which is great, but it's not that moist, moist banana bread, which we all love so much. And that is very easy to achieve, you just have to leave it overnight. So, banana bread, ooh, day one, delicious. Banana bread, day two, light. Like, a million times better. So I baked this one yesterday and I'm just gonna take a slice and we'll have a look inside. Look at this, it looks so gorgeous. It's really even all the way through and our nuts and our chocolate have spread evenly as well. Um, like I said, you can warm this up. You can put it in your toaster and spread butter on it if you want, but I haven't got time for that. I just wanna eat it. Mm. My favourite bit about it is the walnuts. I know you think it's going to be the chocolate, that's my second favourite. But the walnuts, when you get a bite of it, the texture is so perfect. And also, I love the little kind of flecks of brown you get in it, which is from the banana. 
This is just a real, real classic recipe. It's perfect if you are just starting out with baking, and it's perfect if you're like a pro whiz kid at baking, because this is like a comfort food, and it's something you must know how to bake. So enjoy making it. Make sure you share all your photos with us over on Instagram, and tag hashtag Cupcake Gemma, so we can all see and share your photos as well. Um, we'll be back next week. I'm hoping to get some little um, mini cherry bake world tarts to you soon, so hopefully that'll be next week, because they're really Real cute and real delicious. So until then, have a fab time baking banana bread. Mm.